here. Here's the new all new redesigned Corolla. I wouldn't normally rush to a Toyota on a track, but this little guy is quite neat. Like I like the style here. Very sporty looking, uh, very neat car. Now let's see how the storage is back here. Pretty nice. Good actually, really good amount of storage for some for you know something in this size point. Has the Dunlop Sport Max tires, looks nice too, uh, which was kind of unexpected. Check it out inside. So it does have like kind of a digital looking gauge there. I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. And um, then it's got the newer Toyota infotainment system. Pretty cool, let's start her up. Uh, kind of a small, narrow console. Not a whole lot of storage space. This is pretty deep though. Up in there, you make up for that with the glove box. Toyota's definitely up the interior, interior quality of the Corolla between this screen on uh, just kind of the nicenesses of the plastics uh, and all of that, it's nice. And then a little bit small in the back, um, but you know, this is a pre-production vehicle. So, uh, you know, I won't, I'll reserve some judgment uh, on, on it until it's done. This screen though is wicked nice for something kind of in this class. It does have a sport mode, which uh, actually changes the color uh, of the gauges, which I thought was pretty neat. Yeah, here's the gauges in regular mode, kind of a nice blue, very nice looking gauges there. And then when you engage sport mode, that turns red. Uh, it looks, you know, just a little bit sportier. Also, also with Toyota, you get all the safety tech, like blind spot monitoring and, you know, cross traffic and all that. Um, kind of a frameless mirror design, which is nice. That's, you're seeing that trickle down from a lot higher end cars uh, as well. Really do love these seats. Uh, very nice. You know, I wasn't a big fan of the old uh, Corolla. You know, I thought in the class uh, there were a lot better options. Um, hopefully the redesign, you know, fixed most of that. A big part of it was it was just kind of bland and boring and not, you know, that interesting a car. Uh, based on how this looks in the interior, Toyota may have solved that. We'll see if it, you know, drives well, kind of is the ultimate uh, test. You know, it definitely has good uh, noise and vehicle harshness. Uh, which is something Toyota's kind of always excelled at, frankly. The steering, you can tell, is actually uh, tighter than on some Toyotas. And like I said, based on how good the new uh, Camry is, I was expecting this to be, uh, you know, quite a bit better. Um, and it does appear to be. Normally in the short reviews, I don't do stuff like this, but I just had the radio on. It's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely, you know, good for a kind of radio in this class. Going back to that sport motif, this one even has paddle shifters, which is kind of uh, kind of pretty neat. Um, you don't see that a lot uh, in this class of car. Off we go. It's not fast, but it's not slow, as you'd expect. It definitely feels a little quicker than the old Corolla, uh, for sure, and definitely a little more fun and enjoyable to drive. Definitely has a certain liveliness in the engine I kind of like. Steering is actually really good. Um, this is the XSE, so that's like the sport trim. Wow, this is pretty fun, actually. I did not think the Corolla would ever be this fun. I mean, it's it definitely has come a really long way. Kind of enjoy driving it, I'm not gonna lie. Brakes are, brakes aren't the best, but they, you know, they do the job for anything you need on the road. It's definitely rev happy. I like that. Um, comfortable too. Um, for the compact car, this is definitely, uh, you know, up there as well. Like I said, the brakes, uh, you definitely have to give it a little extra uh, punch to get, um, get it going. Let's see, off the line. Quick, and as you can hear, that's a nice sound. Uh, definitely uh, nice thing you expect, I'd expect from like a Toyota, a Corolla, you know, for it to make some great engines. I didn't necessarily think this would be one of them. Like I said, the roll, it's very flat, uh, very, it feels very light on its feet and nimble, uh, which, you know, has never just, has never really been a feature of this car. So I'm going to go in through the slalom here a little bit. There it shows its uh, weight a little bit more than if you preload it into a turn. Here's an S turn. It's not bad though. It definitely, uh, feels rather good, which 
uh, I didn't think I'd be saying about it. It's, 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 it's one of the more fun cars in its class now. Uh, definitely up there with the Civic or anything like that. Um, Civic's probably sl ever so much more slightly nicer inside, uh, but, um, you know, they're close. And they're both nice cars now. This definitely competes uh, with anything else out there. Um, so the redesign hugely helps. And I actually like the wagon. You get the little extra space. Um, and it looks you know, it looks very cool. Very nice styling uh, as well. And the best part is there's the Avalon in front of me, which is a much more powerful, faster car. But... Uh, this car can definitely keep up with that uh, on this track because it's so much smaller and lighter and more nimble. Definitely quiet as well. A little bit of wind noise here when you get, you know, up to 60, 70-ish, um, but, but nothing too crazy. Um, and again, this is a pre-production model, so I wouldn't judge it, you know, based on uh, that too much. This is fun. This is a great little car, though. Uh, would I buy this with my own money? I definitely would test drive it and you know check it out against the Mazda and say the Honda um, uh, as well uh, but it, it actually is probably by far the best Corolla uh, yet um, hands down and uh, before I would have said kind of eh, you know skip the Nissan Sentra or you know the Corolla um, now though I'd have to say definitely check the Corolla out. Good morning. Well next time my speedy racers drive on.